Hi guys, it's me, Jessa, the Hoodoo Honey of the Real Witches. I'm back. I'm back in Nevada. Not in Carson, not in Gardnerville. I am now in Sparks. 2023 was a very interesting year. Very interesting. I have come tonight to talk about the fact that I'm doing tarot readings again. Because I probably should have done them last year more. Um, for myself anyways, and I have been recently and, eh. um, <laughs> anyways, I wanted to talk about vision boards because it's that time of year again, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And I'm going to be making a lot of videos because I have a lot of stories to share. I had a year last year that was very odd. Um one of the strangest years I've ever experienced in a long, long time. I tell you what, <laughs> last year was something. I want to, what I want to, just put out there real quick, and then I'll go into more detail later through videos. Um, when you're doing vision boards, spell work, anything like that, watch your words carefully. And don't over-focus on one thing. Balance is crucial, okay? Looking back on the vision board I made last year, I had a mission. I was going to own a house. I was going traveling. I was doing this, doing that. And I put it all on there. And it all had kind of one theme. And it really wasn't in balance at all. It was one theme. I did manifest it all actually had somebody offer me their house for free um but it was a really crappy house it was not so infested so um and it was just a crappy crappy house and just out in the middle of a crappy town and just everything I put on it did manifest but it's that be careful what you wish for thing because <laughs> I wish for Things I didn't need to be wishing for. Just did. So this year, I've added balance back to my vision board. So hopefully it goes a little bit better. But I just wanted to touch base. Yes, I'm still around. Yes, I'm still spell casting. Yes, I wear a bucket hat. Just because my forehead's like really huge, as you can see. <laughs> I'm getting older, guys. I hit 51 this year, right? Okay. There's my crazy hair. Um, I hit 51 this year, and why your forehead gets bigger but you get shorter? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I have been doing readings again. I prefer, <laughs> I still prefer spell work. I will always prefer spell work. Trust me on that. But for right now, while I reconnect to a lot of things I'll be uh, doing readings because it forces me to do my own <laughs> while I'm doing them I'll put that up on my website I don't know how long it'll be there so you want to take advantage of that I was actually doing some free ones on Facebook and nobody showed up tonight <laughs> whatever anyways I'm back full force back I was around last year if you ordered a spell work or anything last year, it was done. I would, no matter where I'd be traveling to, watch the word travel on your vision boards. Really, really be careful with that word. Um, no joke. Just, I came here to tell you to watch. Watch for, um... Uh, being too hyper fixated on a particular thing when you're doing your vision boards they should really be uh, balanced you should be doing you know your dreams your goals things like that but also balancing it with uh, relationships um, uh, your well-being your health your your everything okay everything has to be a balance it just does so don't make your you know I set out last year last January with this big huge goal and I didn't really pay attention to much else 
the problem with that is it almost puts too much energy and it becomes very, very literal. And, um, yeah, I traveled way, way more than I wanted to and it also ruined my credit and all kinds of things because I was just kind of stuck out into this vortex of traveling and moving and moving and traveling and moving and traveling and moving and traveling. And moving and traveling. I also, you know, ruled out apartments in it. I was like, I'll never live in an apartment again. I'm going to own my own house, blah, 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 blah. Okay. When you're doing a vision board or any kind of spell work, any of it, energy work, whatever, you don't want to burn bridges. <laughs> so you can ask for what you want without burning bridges. Very hard, hard lesson to learn. But you can. And I'm here to tell you, you can because I didn't and I screwed it up so bad. I don't even know if I'll ever recover from it. But that's okay. I will. I will. But, oh my God, the stress at this age is just... I did not need to do... Don't worry about ever doing a spell perfectly as far as ingredients and doing it this day on this moon, on this blah, blah, blah. No, what matters is... That shit doesn't matter. It's the intention that matters, okay? You, you can do it without anything. You don't... All the the stuff, the candles, the, the herbs, the, all that, that's the fun part. That just makes it fun and keeps your focus. But before doing spell work, vision boards, energy work, any of it, I don't care what you want to call it. Be careful what you wish for and keep it in balance. Um, don't just put all your power and your force on one thing <laughs> because that can take strange <laughs> turns that you're not expecting so you know let it go with the flow more keep it in balance be very careful about words spell work it literally translates to your words so, you know, that's just my welcome to 2024 little warning and that I'm back and it's going to be a good year. Not the best year ever. We don't say that anymore. Um, but it's going to be a good year and I'm back. I'm back. And it's good to see everybody. And thank you to all of my return customers. Thank you. And to new customers, I'm real. I've been around for a long time. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. Even though I'm old, I am still learning as I go. Last year, oh, last year was a whole college education in itself in witchcraft. I'll tell you what. And I will tell you those stories as we go. And it's good to be back. Bye, guys. Love you.